Hello, and I'm going to show you now how to do a multi-track recording using um, the MIDI onboard sequencer. Now, the easy way I do this, and this is just my way of doing this, so this doesn't you don't have to follow this if you don't want to. Do, um, but the easy way of doing it is to press the recording button over here, and then on the screen, go I go to quick record. And so basically what, ooh, what I'm going to do is play, uh, oh, we have reverb. It does this. This is a bit of a oddity with the Genos. If I go into recording, it adds reverb to my voice. I, I think it assumes I'm going to sing. I don't want to, but I can't actually turn talk on. So there you go. Um, so what I do is I'm going to play the song through and you can understand where we go from here. see if now I can put it in there we go I can get rid of the reverb it's assuming I'm gonna sing I am not gonna sing um so at this point I now click save on the main screen and I will give it a name and I can just for this purpose of this song I'm just gonna call it number one it's one day at a time but um one is what we've got so the once I've got one which you can see on the screen I press exit and then go back into multi recording and then where you see at the top where it says new song, if you just touch there, then you can call up your song. So if I call up number one and then press exit, now if I press play, I could actually whistle. It was probably more melodic. Okay, so this is going to play back my track now. So what I want to do now is layer another voice. Now, it's country and western, so it's got to have some sort of a fiddle in there. Um, so what I do... Oh, God, here we go again. Let me just uh, let me just turn off the record option. There we go. I can do that. So I'm going to go over here onto my panel, and I'm going to go into user voices, into expansion, and I'm using hill fiddle. Okay, so fifths are very country and western. That sort of thing. So what I'm going to do is simply add a little bit of fiddle over the top. Not too much, because you don't want to drown your track with fiddle all the way through. So I'm just going to be selective and pick different places to drop this in. So if I go back on here now and press record, on number four, which I'm going to do, I can then highlight right one, which is what I'm going to record onto number four. And now if I press start, it will let me overdub my fiddle over the top, minus the, uh, the vocal.
can stop and put talk back on. So now I've got my fiddle. So I'm going to go into my expansion voices and I want some sort of choir backing. So I've got some uh, pack called Backup Singers in here, which will sing R. Uh, Okay, so I'm going to use those. I'm going to go in and add a little bit more reverb to them. Okay, so they're all set and they're on my right one voice. So I can adjust the volume as I'm recording because I don't want my, my choir singing the same level all the way through. I want a little bit of an expression. Okay. So I'm going to be using the slider while I'm recording. So I'm going to go into um, part number five to record this. I'm going to select right one. And then when I press record, there we go, Look, press record, this reverb comes in. But anyway, we're, we're going to start the song now and then record the voice over the top. Okay, so now we've got the country and western singers in the background as well. And if you wanted to add a little bit more, we could go and go to the steel guitar section. And again, in the um, country and western pack, which is installed in here, on uh, where we go, country western country musician Genos, we've actually got some good simple steel slide. So you can add a little bit of that in the background. If you didn't want to add the um, pedal steel, I could even use that as the melody. It's a good good voice to use for country and western. Um, so again, same scenario. Go to number six now. And then go to right one. And this is going to go all echoey. And there we go. As I said to you, echo, echo. Um, so now I'm going to start the track.
we've got enough of that. We don't. We don't need any more. Uh, and then, if you want to um, really do more with this, all you do is click save, and I will save there number one. Yes. So now that has saved to my MIDI player, as you can see here, I can start that song now. So what I'm going to do is, if I want to play along with this, is I go to channel one and turn off number one, which is my melody. Uh, and then I can pick, uh, if I wanted to, I'll pick a different voice. Um, let me have a look, see what we've got. <clears throat> Let's go for, oh, I know what you could use that <clears throat> and then i'm going to put some strings on the left hand so now while i play along i'm still playing with the keyboard but i'm playing with a more personalized backing track so for example Let's go back to the guitar, uh, electric guitar, shadow guitar. Okay, let's reset this and play it again. much how you can record a multi-part sequence but just basically starting with a simple song you play your usual and then go and take the file into the um, additional multi-recording section you go to multi-recording as you can see here on the screen uh, highlight the song that you want to do back up um, yeah, we'll, we'll pick that one again and then here you can do various things. Um, you can record over the top and each track. Now, the thing to remember is 9 to 16 do not ever record using those because they are all of your backing parts. But the top layer, 1 to numbers 8, are for you to record melody. So 1 is the melody. In fact, you can hear, if I play this along now, You can see all the parts being taken away. And the same with the rhythm if I wanted to. Bring the choir and the bits back in. And, that, and that's pretty much how you do it, guys. Um, I'm going to leave it very short here because otherwise the video will go on and Facebook may take it down. But I just wanted to show you how I would record a multi-part sequence and track using the easy recorder the quick recording and then drag it 
or take it into multi-recording so that you can put the parts on top. And then once you've done that, you're pretty much set to go. I hope this video has helped you and uh, given you an insight as to what you can do in terms of layering voices. Um, but the, the expansion side of the keyboard is, qu is quite exciting because you can bring in some really great sounds from various places, depending on obviously what packs you have installed. Um, but we've got things like Ooh. Ooh. strings that there's so many things you can bring in from from the expansion and i think from memory i think it was taurus 4 or taurus 5 wouldn't allow you to actually record expansion voices into a sequence whereas now you can of course so you can drag anything from your expansion section your user voice section and uh, add it as a sequence okay i'm going to leave it there um, if you've got any comments or anything you would like to know just drop a message below and i'll try and answer until next time, take care.